Are you willing to sign a prenup? Absolutely. What you that. won't do, do for love. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely would sign a prenup. Baby, hey, whatever, whatever that make you feel better. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready for my husband, not my cousin. Is it, did you date Kevin Samuel? No. Y'all were just cool. Yeah, we were cool. We just did content together. Right. I, I did an interview, but, you know. He God, made God some, bless he, the Godfather. He made, rest his soul. He yeah. made some good points, though. Mm -hmm. I had a great time. He, we had a really, he was somebody that when I would have conversations with him, it was really hard to talk to him sometimes. Even the last conversation we had, it was, ugh, it's like a little jagged pill. Let's so, talk about, okay, basketball wives. You're on another another season of that. Well, what, this is my first season. This is your first season. It's my okay. first time. I don't get to say that often. <laughs> Granny, I'm sorry. This is not the life I really chose for myself, but hey, here we are, Granny. <laughs> what about basketball wives? Basketball wives, season 11. Yes. What yeah. can we expect? <laughs> Shut up. It was the most. Ooh, come on, Tuesday. I just hoop wisely. What's a positive one? It was an experience right. that I will never forget. You like it? Mm -mm. Like. Like. Season 12, you down? <laughs> a lot of things have to change for me, but uh, I'm keeping open mind. A lot of things have to change, but I'm keeping open mind. You do realize that anytime someone see you with someone publicly, they automatically jump to the conclusion. You know that, right? So like me and you then? I do an interview, uh, like Shaq. What about it? I'm saying people saw you out and she was shot. Or if I, I can assure you, if someone would have, if we, let's just say we're out at some restaurant. Me and you. You and I. What you think? Even if we talk. After this. Even, even if we just having a conversation. You're somewhere. I'm with my boys. I, and, I, and they see, man, Shannon. You know it's going to be a thing. So you know what comes along with Brittany Renner. You know that anybody that you talk to, there's going to be accusation, innuendos, hmm. conjecture about what's happening. Okay. You don't, I mean, the, the, I mean, you okay with that? I mean, people are, all, are entitled to their opinions. If I want to go out for dinner, I'm going to go out for dinner. I'm just saying, but don't you want to just like be able to go somewhere and people not automatically assume? Hell no. I wouldn't trade this life for nothing because I get to skip the line figuratively and literally. So you have to accept the good with the bad. You can't say, hey, I want all these brand deals. I want to be famous. I want to be on TV. But don't take a picture of me when I'm leaving. Don't take a picture of me if I'm out eating. Grow up. It's hot up under these lights. Okay? Not everybody can handle it. But for me, I mean, I love, I love being in front of a camera. I love, I really had a great time filming for Basketball right. Wives. It just felt so natural. But this is just a part of me. This is what I like to do. So I'm built for it. I don't I don't look at that as whatever. They're allowed to think what they want. People are already gonna assume that. I mean, I don't really believe in like male female friendships anyways. I'm not a bit I don't have a, a man can't be a friend, can't have it, a girlfriend. It ain't. Y'all I'll be so I'm just saying I personally do not have male friends. The only male friend that I have, his name is Jerry, and he's a family friend of ours. Like his baby mama is my mom's baby daddy's sister. Like it's right. family. Yeah. You right. know what I mean? So right. That's the only male friend that I have. Right. That's family. I know I don't. Male friend are male friends replacement. No, I just think that there's always, uh, for me, my experience, there's just always that lingering undertone. Yeah. And, and then that's how everything starts as friendship. So it's like, it ain't much to just do a hop, skip, and a jump, and then now, oop, you done fell in the pussy. Uh, like, how do we get here? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have male friends. I'm good. Do you want the man to the Okay, Brittany, I'm picking you up at I'm picking you up at 7:30, 8 o'clock. We're going here. You want him to plan the date, or are you going to plan or help plan? Yeah, hey, women don't like questions. Don't ask me if I want to go to dinner. Tell me, you know, like, hey, this is what. What can they on. can they ask, Brittany? What's your favorite food? What do you like? No, that's fine, but plan it. Yeah, I don't. I have no desire to be a man in a relationship with a man. What happened to Fifty Fifty? Who said that? All the way. That's what Dwayne said on the last. And how yeah, how 50, 50, 50, 50. That's giving friends a 
tonic. 50-50? I mean, no. Dutch. Well, there was a guy that I went on a date with. Uh-oh. And what happened? We um we went out on a little date. We went bowling. And when we got there, oh, please don't be mad at me. Can so you bowl? Gonna... I mean, with your nails? Oh, yeah. I mean, you make it, you mess What do you mean? I don't have long nails. Okay. I'm a very, uh, this is very classic. So short. you hold a ball like this or you put three fingers in? Mm, well, wouldn't you like to know? Oh, my, there you go. <laughs> I'm just trying to ask a question. Hey, you go with some little jive. <laughs> so anyways, Brother <laughs> and I, we go out to bowl. Okay. Wait, okay. <laughs> It's, I'm, I, I've been suffering this whole time, but you wanna, you wanna this is so good. It is. I usually don't like dark, but maybe I gotta try it. Maybe I have to, you know, <laughs> maybe maybe I have to have you as, as a bathroom. I would have loved that. Um, so back to Project. <laughs> we get to the date. He pays for our bowling. I'm like, okay, cool. And he gets there and he's like, honestly, I shouldn't be here right now. And he kind of alluded to his sister giving him money for the date. And so I paid for like our, our drinks and what? Yeah. He, uh, and he said that. He said that he. Oh God. Uh, I can't lie. Fuck. It's like a curse, but a blessing. But yeah. So anyways, he was like, yeah, I, I can't really, I can't really afford it. This is what happened. I was playing overseas. I got robbed. All these different things. And I was like, you know what? It doesn't even matter because all I care about is true love. So I paid for our drinks. And you told him to skedaddle. Scoop. No, let me tell you why I tell him to skedaddle. So we're leaving, and the parking's like 35. He ain't have no money to bail. Yeah, he got to go. So I paid for our parking, $35 each. And mind you, whatever, I was like, let me just give him a little, a little kiss that so we made out. Ugh, no passion there. I already kind of knew this was a no. So we were in the parking lot for maybe like You didn't put your tongue in his mouth, did you? Of course I did. <laughs> First of all, the dude show up broke. You got to pay for the drink. You I, got to pay for the family. I still had to give him my all. I had to see. I'm no, like, he got. Still, he got okay, nothing. Okay, I saw. I put it. I put my tongue down his throat. Did you have on lipstick? I'd have gave him a napkin. There you go. Take that with you. That's all he got. That's all he. That's all he brought to the table. It's just a little charity. Okay. Anyway, so we were in there for about. You know, we're talking and yeah. whatever. He's like, no, let's continue the date. I'm like, no, I'm good. So we're going through the parking, going through the parking meter, yes. and it was like an additional ten dollars. What? Yeah, because we were, it was like I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how long we were there. We were making out that damn long. So whatever, I pay the ten dollars, and I go through under the parking meter, and I hear. <laughs> what happened? Oh, he tried to race through the, so he wouldn't slow down on him. Oh, man! I was like, oh my God, because I was like, someone's about to hit my car. So we didn't have to pay for the parking. And I was like, I'm never calling him again. This is exactly why people are like, you can't date a regular guy. You're right. Because I tried. And Mr. Broke I, you know, he was cute. But yeah, when he raced through that Yeah, part, you can't be cute and broke, though. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all you can offer me is some hard dick and bubble gum, babe. And I was just like, that ain't gonna work. I, I, I thought, but yeah, that's the first time I've shared that story publicly. Very embarrassing. Ooh, wee. Yeah.